Welcome back one and all, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Dragon Age Origins Where we left off last time, we had just uh, wandered down this tunnel Or we were wandering down this tunnel, we came across a... a cloth? Across a glass phylactery It's probably gonna have a revenant in it just like the other ones So let's open it up and see what lies inside Let's take the vial, it fractures at our touch And, surprise of surprises, there is another revenant here so we're going to try and get uh, Kona Cold out. And who is tanking this thing? Sten? Nope, it's definitely not Sten. That's okay. Shale can take some hits. Yeah. And we will also get our other mage in here to deliver a Cone of Cold of her own. Almost ready for yet another on cold. We might freeze our dog. Nope. Just fine. Everything is good. Looks like Shale is tanking. Which is good. She's good at tanking. That's literally her job. That is what we built her to do. Time to heal her again. And blast with some lightning. Should almost end the fight. Oh man, we should heal Shale one more time just in case. Nope. It looks like it ended before the Revenant could finish Shale off. And we have officially killed the Revenant. There's a scrap of paper, an emerald ring, and a health poultice. We've been killing Revenants for a while. I wonder what our grand reward is going to be for that. This is a very long tunnel. I'm hoping we didn't have to go that other way first, but... If we did, we'll go back for it instead. Not a big deal, one way or the other. This is another Deep Roads exit, but there is a passageway here. You can also see that it, I think it links up to that passageway there that we didn't go down either. Let's go take a peek at what we have in store. It almost looks like a dragon tunnel. That's a weird sound. Jesus! Oh, okay. So there were shrieks. Sorry for freezing you, Sten. Those things are actually legit kind of scary. They sort of just appear out of nowhere and attack you. And when you're immersed in the game, it's kind of like, what the F? Ah, uh, an ogre. An ogre alpha, I should say. Not the same as a normal ogre. Uh, Morgan? I think it doesn't like you. And I'm going to actually move you out of combat here, a little bit. And Shale just got kicked in the face. Or not Shale, Sten. I need to get into range for another Kona Cold of my own. Not that it matters because the fight is 100% over. Nothing of particular value there. There are a couple of fractured stones around we'll grab. And nothing else of value, apparently. Some deep mushrooms, and that is it. There are still two enemies on our map that we can see. Just up to the east-ish area? West-ish area? Ooh, no. Northwest-ish area? Let's get started. I'm guessing this is this direction is north, so yeah. They're off to the west. Northwest, I guess. Looks like several gen locks. Um, you know what? We could probably get a blizzard going right here. Ugh. Sometimes targeting with the... This particular camera sucks. Oh guys, don't, don't run in there. I'm gonna kill half my team if they run in there.
You know what? I think the... Hey, somebody leveled up. Sten leveled up. Congratulations, Sten. And we'll just wait for the blizzard to wear off before wandering in there on our own. As you wish. Right. It's a topsider hilt. I'll take it. Darkspawn Alpha Dagger is an incredibly nice dagger, actually. I'll take it as well. Topsider's Honor might be like a quest or something. This be easy yeah. Chest. We can't even break it open. We lack the ability all around to open it. Slightly disappointing. Alright, and now here we are. We have reached the other zone transition again. We'll go down this one first because it's the closest one and I'm not really sure which one's which. This one, this thing says, Sing praises to the stone. May her arms be ever something. Oh, there we go. Open to us. That's a fine sentiment, but obviously didn't help your people too much because they all died. Well, I mean, not all of them died. There is still Orzammar, but the Dwarven Empire of old is gone. There's nothing left of it. Just the shadowed remains. I see. It doesn't lead us anywhere. Just further down. We do need to return to town, nonetheless. We will go back to Keridan's Crossing and grab the other path. Hopefully it'll lead us to the correct place, but we need to sell some junk first. That is our goal right now. Because we're poor, really. Well, not poor, but we are full. We are full and poor, but there's nothing we need to buy. I want to buy like some sort of really incredible item. I'd even sell for finding a really incredible item. I'm, I'm, I'm only asking because you never know who's going to get hungry. Right. All right, let's see what we got here. The alpha dagger, sell. No, uh, we'll keep that because we could use it with one of our characters later on. Get rid of that. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, that's a tier eight rogue thing. That's Ogren's massive helmet. It kind of sucks. I'll give him better armor. I'll give him like the Juggernaut set or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Should I have kept that rock knocker helmet just in case? I'll put it in my chest for later. And the only reason I'm keeping it is, um... Well, there's spoilers, so if you don't want to hear the spoilers for the game, plug your ears for the next minute or so. I'll give you guys like 10 seconds to do so. So at a certain point of the game, uh, you'll I'll have several groups going at once, and each group will need to be equipped. And that's why I'm keeping some of this gear to equip them at that point in time, so that they have a chance to not die horrifically. And that's pretty much it. We have 81 slots available. Still. I do have some gifts again, which is kind of annoying. But that's okay. Um, this staff. First of all, we're carting it around for no real reason. Is it better than the staff of the first enchanter? The answer to that is no, so we're going to sell it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm only asking. Right. I should probably ask him if he's all right first. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm only asking. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Most people don't anymore. Oh, maybe they're too polite to mention it. I had a little incident a few years back. Uh, too much time with the raw lyrium ore, you know. <laughs> maybe it was a bad thing. Maybe. I, uh, I cut myself and the dust got straight in the blood. Since then, it's been a little hard for me to concentrate. Except when forging. Then I'm straight as an arrow. Best work I've ever seen. L -l -l Look around the shop. See for yourself. Aren't dwarves immune to lyrium effects? I, of course we are. Weak surfaces like you touch the raw ore, and you'll bleed from your eyeballs in hours. Weird seeing how big you are. Even surface dwarves lose it. Us down here, though, but we should be able to handle it just fine. Only not too much, and not every day, and not breathing the dust, and not directing the blood. 
ancestor's own bad luck. So let me see your wares again. Okay. What else do you have again? Nothing really I wanted, right? Pretty much. Yeah, alright. Good enough, we're out of here. We're going back to the deep roads. I'm gonna quick save here as well. If you're wondering why sometimes I randomly quick save in the middle of nowhere, or not in the middle of nowhere, where I'm clearly safe, in all honesty, it's in case I have to edit out dog barking. It's gotten to be quite an epidemic, and the problem is I can't discipline him for it as well as I should be able to, and the reason is he's deaf, so verbal commands are kind of useless with him. He just can't hear them, so. That's not the case in this video. So far, he's being good, although he is eating my elbow. Not exactly the ideal. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Yes, we need to go this way. Or can I go the other way? The other way is probably faster. We're going to go down the second exit. Hopefully it'll take us somewhere new. That first exit didn't do a whole lot for us. It kind of sucked. There also might be something I need to do here. Let me take a quick look here. Lost the memory of a paragon of a kind. Start at Keridan's Cross. Well, we did that. Didn't really help us too much. Unless we missed something vital in here, but I think we have. Except for that chest, but that chest had garbage in it, as I recall. We're not going to worry too much about it. Maybe you have to read the road signs. I hate reading road signs. That's why I have Google Maps. I just need, like, deep road maps. Or, like... Maybe the Circle of Magi can make their own app called, like... Tower Vision... Oracle. We'll call it Oracle. There we go. They could call it Oracle. And it would be like Google Maps, but, you know, using divination of some sort. See? There's a marketing idea. I'm going to hit this road marker just in case. Too damaged. Child Paragon. Not too worried about the Fractured Stone. I'll grab these two road markers as well on the way down to the next point. And we'll see if they help or not. What's that say? Those who return to Orbits of Mars Embrace be sheltered. Okay. Paragon Alahin died to lay these stones. Well, that's just, that's just a bad omen right there. I'm not really one to believe in omens, but when you're building a road, if your paragon, the literal embodiment of your ancestors, dies, not a great place to put a road. Just saying. I would maybe reconsider that. Wait. We missed something before. Go take a look. There's yet another small bloody sack here. And gen locks, of course, because why wouldn't there be gen locks? Ah, there's a lot of gen locks. Guys, go. Go, 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 go. I am going to Blizzard. Like there. Oh, I got interrupted, even with my one combat expertise or whatever it's called. Oh, that's gonna suck. I got one of them. Oh, we didn't level Sten up. We should probably do that as well. We'll do that immediately after this fight. Okay. Everything is awesome. Alright, Sten, you need to level up. Yeah, that's the wrong button. Strength? Str 
Strength, Constitution, perfect. Oh, wait, hang on. You can get a secondary specialization. You should get him like a Reaver. Reaver's cool. So is Berserker, though. Templar wouldn't be great for him, but Champion would be as well. Hmm. Okay, so he needs to do... Oh, wait, we don't have any cunning. I guess this level is going to be about the cunning increase instead. Got to give him some of that survival skill. That sweet, sweet survival. All right. So we can give him death blow. It's an okay ability. Or we could give him critical strike. We should really um, increase his tactical capabilities. Go ahead and save right here. There's some stalkers in here. There are many stalkers in here. Get the spell off. Don't get interrupted. I know there's like eight of them on you. You guys got this, right? Yeah, they're fine. And I'll quick save once the blizzard wears off, and we'll open up the circuit. Oh, there's more. Apparently I'm 1v1ing the leader. I'm okay with that. Oh, there were two leaders. Anyone else? No? We're good now? Nope. No, we are not. Oh, we're standing on, like, eggs. There's a matriarch. I don't think it's gonna make it though. There we go. We have solved all of life's problems in the best way possible, killing everything in our path. Ew. Garbage. Okay, leaving that there. There's some rubble and fractured stone over this way. Yeah. This should be easy enough. All right, let's try and go up here. That was the sarcophagus, right? Yeah. There's, is there anything else in there that we should note before leaving? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We're fine. We got every. Uh, I'm stuck on a body or something along those lines. That was kind of annoying, but. Let's go down a different path, see if it hopefully takes us to the right place. Also, we got a quest update for that uh, Asunder quest. The carving was done in the deep roads near Keridan's Cross. Okay. But where? Possibly in one of the next deep roads area. We'll take a look around. If that is the case, then we will reanimate this pride demon and then probably punch it to death because pride demons are notoriously bad at negotiating. They appeal to my pride, little do they know that I have none. Oh god, my life is so empty. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. As you wish. Haramont is a dust lover. Our past is wrought with lost roads, mines, tags, and homes consumed by the horrors of an endless war. Well then, don't build your kingdom in the deep roads. I mean, really? This is on you guys, in all fairness, dwarves. There's no one to blame but yourselves. So... 
I mean, you're bitching and moaning, but it's your own damn fault. There's an ogre corpse there, which is a good sign that we're going to meet some dwarves soon. It's been made into ogre corpse. And there's a giant rock blocking our way that way. Apparently these dwarves that are here are bad at looting bodies. Then again, we did leave a couple bodies in the past with loot still on them. Because it was just garbage, including that one we just passed. So they killed all the dark spawn, but didn't bother to wake up the spiders. My least favorite of enemies. Thanks a lot. Enemy combatants, or allied combatants. And now I'm stuck inside stupid webs. With stupid spiders punching me. Take like the Flurus Bar, why not? I used an injury kit completely by accident. I'm not even sure how I managed to pull that off. That's one thing I still haven't found a good quantity of healing or uh, injury kits and healing potions. I mean, we do have quite a few for now, but eventually we're going to want to get some more injury kits. Alright, everything's dead. We're all good here. As you wish. Killed all the spooky, scary spiders. That's some cool looking dust effect. Although if there's that much life coming into the caves, we are very near the surface. Ah, oh, man. more sp Oh, wait, they're going against somebody else. I see. Oh. I was kind of hoping that would hit all of them, including the giant ogre. Guys, save me from the spidery death. Stop it with the overwhelm. So here's the Darkspawn are not the undisputed lords and masters of the Underdark. And by Underdark, I mean that's the copyright of Forgotten Realms, and I would never put that into the Dragon Age video. What I meant to say, and what you guys heard, was Deep Roads. Don't sue me, Wizards of the Coast. Hey, I didn't level. I thought I would. I'm so close that I keep expecting myself to level up at any second. I can't remember how to get the Reaver uh, unlock. I'm gonna look into it. Because I kind of want to make Stenna Reaver. There's also a Shriek Alpha here. I think I hit a button. There we go, V. V hides the HUD. Oh, our dog died. Alright, now everything is dead again, except I didn't get a level again. Speaking of our dog, we haven't leveled him up for some time. I'm sure he's got a level by now. He does. No abilities. Okay. Fine. I didn't want abilities in the first place. Jerks. As you wish. And there's a dead herlock there. There's a couple more things to loot around the area. There's a dead ogre over here. I was kind of expecting there to be, you know, dwarves this should be easy enough. fighting the spiders, but apparently that's not the case. Ugh. Oh, there's a chest down there we didn't get. Let's go see what it is. It is a chest of locked. Still didn't get a level, really? Alright, we should level up Shale, I guess. Shale can become a Reaver too, but not quite ready to unlock it yet, apparently. Alright, what warrior abilities do we want to do? I mean, I guess we could get Bravery. It is a passive and it's kind of nice. Alright. Good enough then. Oh man, more things. 
Where's this one going now? Spider? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, that spider was too smart for me. I should have known something was afoot. Um, I'm not sure why you guys are all fighting me. I don't really like it. I'm going to die. Actually die. Uh... Maybe? Yes! I barely managed to survive that encounter. <laughs> That's probably about 5 HP or something like that. A very low amount, regardless. Smart spiders laying in ambush. Very smart. The F. Dwarven spirits, don't do it, man. I'm here on good authority. Oh, crap, that's a stone golem. I'm fighting a good shale 1.0. I'm a running. Nope, I'm not going very far. I think I'm probably going to be dead by the time I stand up. Nope, I survived. Um, sorry, they stand. Maybe stone golems are shale 2.0. Oh, Asunder's quest is right here somewhere. Stone golem had 60 whole silver in it. All right, well, let's do Asunder since we're right here somewhere. No, we're not. It's on the other side of this thing. We must have to go around to get to it. Okay. Let's go loot a chest and then we'll uh, cross the bridge. It looks like there are enemies. Come on. Well, I get to level up though. I will call that a win. Oh good, at least I can bust this one open. Unlike the last one, which uh, didn't give us such a good chance. Do I want Arcane Warrior? Not really. I actually kind of want Spirit Healer. Could be helpful. Anyways, Constitution. Just straight up Constitution this time. Uh, Blood Mage gets Blood Control. Such a fun ability. Alright, I'll take it. I'm also going to put blood magic on. Because we have quite a bit of life when we're not being chewed into pieces. And we get access to some cool abilities. That blood magic was on. Is it not? Did I turn it off by accident? There we go. Now it's on. For sure. Except it turned off again. This is getting odd. And if I quick save, it turns off. Well, that's incredibly stupid. Why does it do that? Is F5 a different button as well? What does F5 do? Just quick save. It's not like... Also one of the quick slots? No? Alright, well, if we have blood magic on, we can't save. So, we'll have to remember that. There's a broken chest here. Okay. 
Let's try some of these abilities like Blood Wound. Did some damage, not a whole lot, but you know what? Let's try Blood Control. And we have a crash, our first crash of the day, so we'll call the video here. Luckily we saved recently. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.